it's time to put down a second layer of of paint and in this case I'm using the exact same colors I'd use for the first layer and that was my cadmium yellow medium putting some yellow highlights over the heart ornaments because I see a little bit of reflection from the flower pot on those ornaments. Um, now I'm putting down a layer of green which I make myself using ultramarine blue and the cadmium yellow medium. Cadmium yellow medium is actually the only yellow that I use. Trying to be careful to leave the white squares or rectangles uh, alone, not getting any paint in them. I don't use white watercolor. That's just a personal preference of mine. But I rely on the paper itself for my white. And so when I'm working around those areas, I'm a little more careful Trying to put in a third layer now of the yellow, same yellow as before, um, not making it as perfect this time because the flower pot itself is not perfect. It has some areas that are darker than others. I see there's a little bit of a yellow highlight on the heart ornament that's inside the flower pot, so I want to make sure to get that. Put a little bit too much yellow, so then I go in with a paintbrush loaded with just water and I lightened it up a little bit. Here I'm adding a second layer, but I'm trying to be careful to leave the uh, decoration of the ornament. Trying to put some red on the bell. I want it to start looking like a bell. The second coat is the same color of red. It's cadmium red, just um, putting it on a little darker. Trying to be careful again of the whites and really enjoying having the use of my Kalinske sable with its nice point. As I paint, my eye is constantly going over to the, um, the photograph that I'd taken of the decorations and I'm gauging, you know, how far should I go with each layer and with each color. I don't want to cover up something that really should be another color or be white. It probably seems maddening to watch me have to put in light layer after light layer. You're probably just anxious to, you know, get right in there and and uh, make it the way it looks in the photograph. I think if you hang in there with me and just trust me a little bit, you'll see why it's best to take your time getting there. Putting a little bit of water on it to soften the edge. Some of the edges in the painting are definitely hard, but there are some soft edges, and the ornaments especially have soft edges. Careful to go around the decoration. Each of the heart ornaments has what looks like a gold... Um, it's a gold glitter sort of, uh, some lines made with gold glitter. I want to leave those there, um, depict those, um, but I'm going to do that leaving my painting white in those areas 
and then just coming in with some golds and browns. Time to work on the ribbon. The ribbon sort of makes this look like a coffee cup rather than a, a little plant pot, but it's just a ribbon. It's actually the ribbon that hang that the little bell would hang from if it were hanging from a Christmas tree. At this point, I'm just painting the darkest areas of the ribbon. Time to go in and do uh, some more trim work. You can see in the photograph that this green area is almost black. It is so dark. And so it will take me like maybe three or four layers to get that the way I want it. Making sure to leave the white squares or rectangles white. Once again, ultramarine blue and um, cadmium yellow medium are the colors that I mix to get my green. Going back in with the second layer, not being as careful, wanting to reflect how man-made, you know, this was a, a handmade pot hand painted so I don't want it to be perfect in my uh, rendering of it. Just a few more um, touch-ups to the red of the bell and that concludes session two. Thank you.